long ago when King Herod ruled Judea, God sent an angel Gabriel to Mary, who lived in Nazareth. Mary was engaged to Mary Joseph. The angel said to Mary, Greetings, the Lord is with you. Mary was very surprised and wondered what he meant. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. Now listen, you will become pregnant with a baby and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord will give him the throne of his father David. And then she was like, what? This is so weird. What? But I'm not, um, I'm not even married. I don't have to, I'm not even that old to have children. Mary was very afraid, but she trusted God. Mary told Joseph that um, she was going to have a baby, the Son of God. And he said, what? That's crazy. That's not true. Angels aren't real. I saw it with my own eyes. So, um, that night when he was sleeping, an angel came to him and made him a The angel name is Gabriel. And the angel came and told Joseph that Mary is right. Mary was not lying. She was telling the truth. Then, name him Jesus. Jesus! He will save people from their sins. Amen. Amen. Dad was with us. Joseph wake up. It did was the angel told him to do. Time to pay your taxes. Go to Bethlehem to pay them. At this time, the Roman Empire Augustus ordered everyone to return to the town where their families originally came from and enter their names in a register. Because that's where Joseph's family came from. Mary and Joseph traveled a long way from Moses to Bethlehem. Joseph and Mary traveled with the donkey very slowly because Mary's baby was due to be born soon. But when she was gonna get, uh, file her taxes, she did not, there was a long line and she could not wait. So, next soon she, she was starting to have a baby, so, so a man called Joseph was in, going to the houses, all of them were full, so so they they don't. So he told she told um, Mary that all of the houses were full. We can't find none. They were having problems finding somewhere to stay. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. He was born in a bar. It's like a formal. But has a lot of animals. Um, horses, sheep, cows, mm. and and pigs. It smells fishy. It smells like poop. Jesus was born in a manger. They said he's so uh. cute. And they said that the, the, he's adorable, he's adorable, he's cute, he's good, 
and it's then they, they they said it, they they want to tell him his name, but now they wanted to tell his name, and now his name is Jesus. In the hills and fields outside, Bethlehem shepherds looked after their sheep through the long night. As the new day began, suddenly an angel appeared before them. One angel. What's and it was a girl. It was a girl. The shepherds were very, very scared, but the angel said, Don't be afraid, for look, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the city of David, a Savior was born for you. Who is this Messiah, the Lord? This will be a sign for you. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying made up. The angels told the shepherds to look for Jesus. And then a lot of angels appeared. The shepherds heard the angels singing. Glory to the high. The first shepherd said, Oh, I'm like, this is really uh, cool and stuff. They said, like, Is this true? Um, he was like, Oh, we should go and stuff. So the other one might say, Maybe. And the other shepherd was like, We should tell everyone about it. Let's go check it out. Let's go to Bethlehem. To Bethlehem. Shepherd was going to see the baby. They they follow what she said and they walked and walked and they saw the baby. They were surprised. Wow, so the angels weren't lying. And then everyone saw the baby. They're so happy. So the shepherds went to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph. Baby Jesus. The baby Jesus was lying in the manger as they had been told. When they saw him, they told ev everyone what the angel had said. A baby named Jesus has been born in a manger. I have good news to do. Today in Bethlehem, a Savior is born. Everyone in my heart, my mate, were astonished. Ooh! Ah! Ooh! <gasps> wow, this is amazing! <laughs> Then the shepherds returned to their sheep, praising God for sending the, his son to be their savior. Glory in the God to highest. Jesus, Jesus is our savior. savior. When Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Big bright star. Look at that star. Because Some wise men that were very clever men that studied the stars and had read in very old writings that a new star would appear when a great king was born. The Lord will shine over you and his glory will appear over you. The nations will come to your light and kings to your shining brightness. They went to find the new kings and bring him gifts. The wise men followed the star towards the country of Ju Judah. And when they got to the capital of Jer Jerusalem, they began to ask people, Where is he? Where is he? Who has been born? King of the Jews. For we saw the, his star at its rising and have come to worship him. When King Herod <laughs> heard this, 
and it made him very angry to think that someone might be going to take his place as king. Herod secretly sent for the wise men to go. <laughs> he told them to go follow the star until they found the baby. Go and search. When you find him, tell me so I can worship him. King Herod did not tell them. He really had an evil plan to kill the tree. King of the Jews. The wise men follow the star. They bow down and worship him. The wise man brought three presents to Jesus. Gold, Frankenstein, I mean, frankincense, and myrrh. in a dream, do not go back to King Herod. They returned home in the east by a different way. So the people that visited Jesus in the manger were the shepherds, the angels, and the three kings. And the shepherds brought their sheep, and the kings brought the gold, and other presents. And they're all worshiping baby Jesus. And Jesus' this. birthday has balloons and a cake yeah. and a piñata and candy and a candy bag. Christmas, Christmas has Christmas, Christmas tree. It okay. has a Chris, look. It has a Christmas tree. It has Jesus. Jesus is and presents and, and presents decorations and, and cookies and cookies. Chris, Christians celebrate this throughout the year, but especially on Christmas. The Christmas story is one of good news and good news, great joy. I will watch you, Mary Redman. Merry Christmas. <laughs>